Hey everyone, welcome to the Penny Pinching Prepper channel and today we're going to have a fun and interesting one because we're going to combine two together. Uh, just want to thank everybody for showing up and if you like the video, consider giving me a thumbs up and if you don't like the video, give me a thumbs down. Either which way I'm cool with it. Um, so, uh, Today we're going to talk about spoons and we're going to talk about freeze dried meals and uh, a lot of people don't know that Mountain House actually makes two different types of freeze dried meals all right one's their pro pack one's their normal pack and there's a huge difference between the two for very very little price difference. Um, if you notice, well, it's all in reverse, but um, granted, it's not apples to apples because we have chicken and rice and chicken and teriyaki, but the only difference really is the seasoning. Um, other than that, the ingredients are pretty much the same. Uh, we've got 43 grams of protein with 650 calories in this one here. And this one is 12 grams of protein, and it's got 480 calories, okay? Now that's, of course, per serving, and each one of these has two servings in it, according to the bag, okay? Um, and for some people, that's not the way it is. It's it's one serving. For other people, it's two, maybe even three servings. Uh, you, you do get a lot in these. Um, myself, I'm a small eater. I tend to eat a couple of small meals versus, you know, three large or two large or whatever. I'm, I'm more of a small eater. And so I always take advantage of the little Ziploc baggie or the little Ziploc seal on these bags so that I can reheat the meal later and finish it up. Um, so I just, I wanted to point that out that, you know, these right now are going for about, you know, 10, 50, 11 bucks. These are going for about a buck to a buck 50 more. All right. And you get so much more nutrients packed into it. All right. And then the other little difference is We've got 4.9 ounces, and this one's 4.2 ounces, so it's really not that much heavier for the amount of protein and calories that you get more. So, keep that in mind when you're buying your freeze-dried, maybe you might want to start buying the Pro Packs versus the old stuff. So... Now, the main topic today is going to be spoons. I know it's a topic that's been gone over a hundred times and everybody's got their opinion of their own spoon that they like and they've bought and you know some of them are short some of them are really long some of them are kind of long you know there's just so many different types of spoons out there but for these honestly you need a if you're going to be especially someone like myself who's gonna eat part of it and then come back and eat part of it later <clears throat> all right you're gonna need to be able to reseal it which means you can't rip it below the 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 reseal line and what I'm doing right now is I'm I'm folding it over to show you the sizes of where the refill line is or the the zip lock thing to be able to seal it back up and save it all right so hold on one second okay so here's your your typical spoon all right it kind of is tall enough if you're you know using the very very tip of it or you're actually getting down in the bag so these don't work that great we all know it and this one you're definitely going to be swimming in it um 
no if ands or buts about it right so then some of us move up to more camping stuff which is you know a little bit longer it gives you a better reach you know you can get down there this one you're gonna be getting down in there a little bit right <clears throat> Now, they make ones even longer than this, and typically the longer they get, the more expensive they get, especially since when they start getting too long, they want to start making them out of titanium, and we all know that stuff's expensive, right? <laughs> but um, even the plastic ones tend to get expensive. You start looking at 10, 12, you know, when you switch over the titanium, now you're looking at 20, 25, 30 for a spoon to be able to get into your backpacking meals, right? Your freeze dried meals. So I decided that I, uh, I'd been thinking about it for a while and I was at the Dollar Tree the other day and a, a light bulb went off um, when I was standing in line and I saw something and I grabbed it, I brought it home. And uh, this was, what I came up with. Now, granted, I know I'm comparing it to a normal backpacking spoon. Um, why not, instead of making it right, just go ahead and buy one. It'll save you the, the, the trouble, right? Well, like I said, the longer they get, the more expensive they get. And honestly, I spent $2 on this, two bucks right two bucks at the Dollar Tree <clears throat> um, and uh, I, I, I made it now here here's the kicker this is why I'm, I'm bringing it up is those of you who go to the Dollar Tree have probably seen these back scratchers right you know they, they tend to pop up all the time and they're kind of chimsy plastic and you never think to buy one because of the fact that you know you're not going to get the itch you want out of it especially with these soft round tips right these bald tips so these are actually expandable they you know they're telescopic they collapse they go up and down and so when i say i made the spoon it's it made the spoon <laughs> So that it can get all the way down in there, right? You're able to get down in the tall one. You're able to get in the short one. You can put it whatever you want. And this is, this does twist, but it's tight enough that it's not going to, oh, I got some tape here. It's not going to, it's not going to fall over that easy. It's, it's, you, you can see that, you know, even when it rolled off, you see the spoon stayed straight. It doesn't twist. It's not, it's not as flimsy as you think it might be. So Sunday, I'm going to put out a video showing how to make my $2. That, that's it. $2 backpacking spoon that's telescopic you can make it as long or as short as you want nestle it away in your backpack real nice right keep it clean all that good stuff so guys if you're interested get back with me uh get back with me sunday and i'll show you how to make it and um if it's past Sunday and you're just happening to stumble across this video um, it'll be left in the link below uh, eventually after you know Sunday <laughs> guys can you tell that I haven't been doing this much lately I'm trying to get back in the rhythm of it but basically from a back scratcher and a Dollar Tree spoon we are making a collapsible backpacking for a freeze-dried meal spoon. So, if you're going to make it, you're going to need one of these. I don't have an extra one right now. i got to go and pick it up. But um, one of these little back scratchers at the Dollar Tree. They're telescopic. You know, they 
go in and out just like the spoon does because this is the base of what it is so get one of these now this is where it can get past two dollars if you don't happen to have any sort of jb weld around um these usually run between four or five bucks so either which way you're still looking at you know seven dollars seven dollars and fifty cents which for a decent long handled backpack spoon that's what you're going to pay but then you might end up with more jb weld or either that maybe you have some jb weld i'm using the uh the water weld this actually hardens underwater that's why i'm using it um you could also use the high temp any of the ones you know the, the high temp or the uh the water one um both have that 25 minute long time curing time versus the the short three or four minute curing time uh so it makes the project a lot easier when you have that like I said, I went with the water one because when you're, if you happen to forget your spoon down in the, the, the pack, you know, it's, it, if, or it springs a leak or gets a hole in it or ends up sitting in the, the water pan too long, that, that water putty isn't going to dissolve any because it's actually getting more and more hard as it's sitting underwater. So good stuff. Um, but not that it really matters too much because if you notice, I do seal it up with plastic at the top all the way around so that it can't get down to the JB weld anyways. And that's why I'm missing a finger. <laughs> well, guys, like I've said over and over again, because I'm good at repeating myself or repeating myself especially when I'm not in the swing of things but uh, <clears throat> if this project once again interests you check out the second part video get a hold of those supplies oh and the only tool you need is some uh, uh, a Dremel Dremel with a cutting wheel and either a heat gun which I don't have mine handy I forgot to grab it either a heat gun or one of those small oh I think I got one here yeah I do if I can get it one of these small little uh, butane torches okay um that's going to be for uh, melting the plastic down in here. Um, much easier with the heat gun. You can do it with the little torch. I've tried both ways. So <clears throat> just to make sure before I go and recommend it. The only thing is, is if you notice, I managed to keep it decently blue with the heat gun. It almost, well, when it's not. On the silver reflection it's you know it's still got its blue color like the handle um matches pretty decent with the uh with the torch i can't guarantee that that depends on your talent whether or not that it's gonna you know blacken or it's gonna stay its color <laughs> so Guys, if this seems like a fun project, give me a thumbs up. It would be greatly appreciated. Um, if you're new to the channel, please get down there and subscribe because, well, let's be honest, you made it through me. <laughs> if you can make it through me, you can make it through anything. So keep watching. Um, get back to me and I'll show you how to make it here in a few days. Remember, God's good and God bless.